Mountain biking is something very unique. The future is bulletproof. The aftermath is secondary. It's time to do it now and do it loud. Kill joys, make some noise. pushing yourself every time that you go out and you're able to overcome fear. Fear of that one huge jump that you see everybody else hitting and you tell yourself that it'll take you years before you can do it. When in reality, all you have to do is push yourself, be confident in yourself, and just go for it. I know that's kind of harsh relating to safety, but in my experience, that's how I learned to get better at mountain biking. So I started mountain biking when I was 12 years old in the French Alps, a small place called Mijev, probably the most, one of the most beautiful places that I've ever encountered. I went up with my dad for my first time. It was also his first time. Went with an instructor. Obviously the first time of me doing downhill mountain biking, I busted my ass just about every five seconds. I was so scared. I had no confidence in myself. I didn't feel like pushing myself. I really just wanted to experience it and have a good time. And I was motivated by seeing other mountain bikers on the same mountain going 50 miles per hour, knocking down these massive jumps and drops. And, and I told myself one day that's going to be me. The only way you're going to get better is by you yourself going out and testing yourself, testing your limits. And I started taking biking lessons from this one instructor. I remember his name was Jeff. He taught me a lot of really good tips and tricks that I'll never forget. After practicing and going up basically every weekend to Winter Park and renting a bike, I decided I wanted my own mountain bike. I got a really nice mountain bike and I started going up a few times every single week, practicing, pushing myself constantly, going on harder trails. Uh, about a month in, that's when I really started to get a lot better. I would go on only black trails the entire day. Going every day and practicing on all those blacks just erased my fear completely. I grew such a high confidence in myself. I've struggled with anxiety and depression in the past, and one of the things that's always helped me to overcome those things is just going out and doing something, especially something like mountain biking, which is a really dangerous sport, but I love it. I've always been an adrenaline junkie. I love pushing myself and trying to go as fast as I can, and it completely just frees my mind of any worry, any type of stress, anything negative that I might be thinking, especially even just being up in the mountains and knowing that you're up there kicking up the dirt. The adrenaline that you get from mountain biking for me is like nothing else. Obviously my mom doesn't like that. She, uh, she always hates it when she knows I'm going to go up mountain biking because she knows I'm good at it, but at the same time she knows how dangerous it is. So do you want me to answer that? Yeah, what goes through your mind when I go up? I mean, as soon as I know you're going to go up, even if it's a week before, I start worrying. <laughs> <laughs> about, first of all, if you're going to have enough water, or if you're going to be warm enough, if you're going to be too warm or too cold or too hot or whatever, and then I, I always worry about, you know, crashing or hurting yourself somehow loud because I don't want that to happen <laughs> but of course I'm a mother so of course I always worry about you hurting yourself it's a dangerous sport yeah and you go really 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 fast Oh, 
<laughs> Why wouldn't I be a little worried? But you know, it's your passion, and I respect that too. But yeah, downhill mountain biking is something that I'll never give up, no matter what happens. Well, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Peace.